Hi, my name is Ed Diaz from Roland, and today we're going to be talking about the FP7F here at Kraft Music. For a great deal on the FP7F, please check out the bundles that are available at Kraft Music. The FB7F is a great digital piano. It's perfect for home use, also perfect for studio, and also perfect for live. Some of the great features on it are great speakers, so it sounds wonderful. But if you need more, you can plug into amplification, three, be it through monitor speakers or an amplifier. Also, the FB7F comes in two colors. The first color is a black, and the next color is white. Also, you do have the option of buying a stand, be it a Z stand or an X stand, or also there is a furniture style stand available in one of the many great bundles here at Kraft Music. The FP7F does come with the DP10 sustain pedal, but if you require uh, the triple pedal, you can get the RPU3 triple pedal from Kraft Music, and that will give you soft, sustain, and sustenuto. One of the most important features that you will enjoy on the FP7F is the action. In this action, it feels more like an acoustic grand than ever before. So one thing that the FP7F does have, if you push down on the keys, it has something called escapement. And what that is, is you can actually feel a bump in the keys. And what that simulates is when you push down an acoustic piano key, you can actually feel the point of when the hammer strikes the string and then the key breaks and resets so you can triple strike so you can get more of a feeling so that's something on the fp7f that you're going to notice right away now as more of a keyboard player not a pianist i asked some of my piano buddies i'm like what's the big deal why why is that and my piano buddies told me one reason that they really enjoy that is because you can tell where soft is on the piano so i can press down and this keyboard is on I can press down and I can actually feel that point. I can feel that breaking point or the escapement. And so I know how soft, how much pressure it t takes to get soft on the piano. So when I can actually feel it and therefore be more expressive and it feels more like an acoustic piano than ever before. Since we're talking about the action on the FP7, we also need to talk about the simulated ivory fill on the FP7F. So if you look at the keys, they actually have a grain to them. And it's not wood, and it's not real ivory, but it's assimilated. And the reason ivory was originally used is so we can actually get a better grip on the keys. So if you use the combination of the escapement, or the break in the keys, you can actually fill it, and also the ivory, a simulated ivory fill, you're going to get a very nice touch and response on the FP7F. Okay, so let's talk about the supernatural piano that lives with inside the FP7F. The supernatural piano is a modeled piano, so what this allows us to do is to just really get the subtle nuances of an acoustic piano. So let's go ahead and check out some things first off. Now this keyboard is on, you know, the piano is on, so I'm going to go ahead and show you, we're going to simulate resonance of the other strings without even playing. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and push down on, say, do a, a C triad, and I'm going to strike some of the other keys on the piano. Watch this and see what you hear. So what's going on is the supernatural piano is analyze it and it knows that it has these keys down so the striking of the surrounding keys is triggering the strings in this section so you're hearing that resonance of those strings even though they're not being played when the surrounding notes are being played around them oops it triggers those strings as well so just like an acoustic piano really really hip now another thing I wanted to show you about the supernatural piano is that this is a modeled piano, 
modeled. So uh, we're not using sampled waveforms in this piano. And one way to kind of prove this is if you go to the lower end of the keyboard and you sustain a low note, many times you will hear the sample loop, we call it. So we're going to let this ring out and you're going to hear the note decay naturally as an acoustic piano would. And normally you would hear on an electronic piano, you hear the point, it's going to go whoa, 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 okay? On the FP7F, you are not going to hear that because there's the supernatural and the modeling in here. So check this out. Let's hold maybe a, a low D uh, and let's see if we can hear that sample loop. So you're hearing a very natural decay, very natural decay. And you're not hearing any looping, any looping. You're not hearing the whoa, whoa. Still it's decaying just as an acoustic piano would. So, so that is something, when you're playing the supernatural piano inside the FP7F, you're gonna notice right away. Or better yet, you're not gonna notice. Okay, you're gonna think, this sounds like my acoustic piano. Now, let's get in deeper. What if this supernatural piano we're using it's not quite the right sound that you want. Okay, it's, it's not the church piano that you're used to. It doesn't have quite that tone. Can I change it? How can I change it? And it's very simple. So I'll come into my FP7F, hold down my display button, and hit the piano button simultaneously, and it pops open my piano designer. This lets me to do a multitude of things. So for one, I can go ahead and change the opening and closing of the lid. Let's do that now. So. Uh, on my display, I can press display and exit, or I can press piano and enter inside there. So I'm gonna press enter. And let's go ahead and close my lid all the way. So let's listen to the difference between an open lid and a closed lid. So. Very muffled, kinda, kinda, you know, sounds like it's closed. Let's open up that lid. And now, same way, play the same chord. A lot brighter, a lot more open. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid to maybe about four. And let's exit one time. Now let's go ahead in here and look at some of the other options we have. We can adjust the damper resonance. So in our pedal, how it reacts when we play it. Our hammer noise. So on an acoustic piano, the actual hammers, how they hit the string. Are they a hard hammer, which, you know, more percussive, or they are a softer hammer. So we can actually come inside the hammer here and we can make it very soft, almost mushy, which could be very nice when we're playing uh, more of a ballad. Very nice, very soft. Or we can adjust the hammer to where it's a little harder, more percussive. So if we want to have more bite, we adjust that hammer noise accordingly, which normally on acoustic piano, you would have a technician kind of shave the hammer a little bit for you. Now you don't have to do that. So I press exit, and there's other different piano designing parameters that we can go in here. So as you see, we can create the perfect grand piano that we want, okay? So with the piano designer inside the, the Supernatural piano, inside the FP7F, you can create from scratch the piano that you've always wanted. On the FP7F, there's a, a lot of other great sounds besides the piano. Uh, let's check out the organ. So if I press the organ here, I see a tone wheel organ come up. Now, usually inside the p digital pianos and keyboards, you get basic organs, kind of like this. And that's cool, but what if we want to change or adjust the organ, kind of like a tone wheel? Uh, normally, we cannot do it, but in the FP7F, I actually can. So I'll go into my tone wheel section, and let's say I choose 
my tone will organ one. Pretty good sound right out of the box. Okay, but what if I want to adjust the harmonic draw bars? All I have to do is press and hold the display button and hit the organ button. Now look at this. You see, these lights are all flashing. Now watch this. I'll press this button and it says, hey, the arrow just moved above that draw bar. So I can actually adjust that particular draw bar and hear in real time different voices. Maybe I want to come into this draw bar and lower it. So I also have the ability to go in there and customize my tone wheel organ. So it makes it real easy. Now if I want to go in there and quickly adjust, I just hit it and it will open and close the draw bar very fast. So I can come into here, really nice sound, let's, let's go ahead and open them real fast. So very fast I'm able to go in inside my FP7F and adjust my tone wheel organ. So that is something that's really amazing. So you don't have to settle for the organs that are inside, you can actually create your own for as you need it. Just as we did with the piano designer, we can do the same thing with the tone wall organ. So make sure you do that on your FP7F. <laughs>great feature we're going to talk about on the FP7F is the USB key feature. Now with this we can actually plug in a USB key and play back audio files be it WAV, EIFF and MP3 files directly from the FP7F and also allowing us to keep on playing. We can play right along with the file. Now there's another great feature in here as well and it's called audio key. All I have to do is press the audio key button right here and this window comes up there is some special software that comes with the FP7F. I call it five minute software because it's that easy. It's really easy. So we can drag and drop audio wave files and we can assign them to these particular keys. Once we assign them to the keys, we can tell them how we want them to play back. And there's a couple of quick options I'll explain very fast. If there's an O on there, that means that file is going to play one time. Okay. If there is just an L, it means that file is just going to loop. Okay. So if there's an LW, that means that file is going to loop, but it's going to wait on the previous file to finish. Because this is going to be really, really cool. And uh, if there's an OW, that means it's going to play one time, but it's going to wait for the previous file to finish. So here's how you guys can use it. You can cut up songs, maybe for Christmas or family functions, because we never know. Sometimes people want to play the songs longer or shorter. Now we have the ability to very quickly pre-cut up our songs and load them into FP7F and play them back. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and press my C right here and I have an audio file here and watch what happens. So I have this audio file playing and it's saying there's four seconds left. So I'm going to hit this button and it's waiting and it immediately switched after that file was done and it's playing one time and now it's over. So as you see, the FP7F has a lot of great features in here, be it from the uh, audio key to the session partner, to the piano designer, layering and splitting, plus the microphone input. So a lot of great features that is going to allow you to get a lot of great use out of it and just have a great time playing. Once again, my name is Ed Diaz from Roland, showing you the FP7F here at Craft Music. If you'd like to get a great deal on the FP7F, check out the bundles available at Craft Music. Thank you very much.